at this point I'm kind of feeling like I failed at something um, but having vlogging continue kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something that I, you know I like to do highlight of my day Facebook wishes me a happy birthday Yippee. I'm gonna put this on okay it's on <laughs> my sister is on the phone she's on mute so she can hear me right now she was on the phone with me all the way through last night she helped me take my mind to something else she was talking about once upon a time which I have seen so so she's just um, just making sure that I don't feel alone I guess and she's an amazing sister anyways I'm not gonna be negative I am a strong woman I'm just gonna say that right now ever since for a while now I've been down and stressed um, so happy hyper Judith hasn't been showing as much but she's gonna be back just give me time she's gonna be back I just got off the phone speaking with my mom and um, she ha oh, her concern also oh the last thing she made sure I understood was that I am a strong girl she called me a girl not a woman but I like to call myself a woman she wanted me to understand I am a strong woman strong girl however she said and um, that was the last thing she kept on echoing and her, her concern also was the fact that I was alone she wanted to um, she really wanted to be here and then for the very first time ever in history my mom was worried about the whereabouts of Faith, which is my dog. Like, where is Faith? She actually wanted to know, do you have Faith back? Like, is Faith with you? Because she wanted to know, is some some living thing in there with you? Because it makes a difference when something, whether it's a human being or a dog, just something living and active. And if Faith was here, she would be like a hyper little dog and she would keep make me, she would keep my spirit up. So my mom was like, is Faith with you? Where is Faith? I'm like, no, Faith is still gone. I'm all I'm alone. But my sister's on the phone. That's the best I can get right now. If this is the best I can get out of my birthday, it is December 14th. Today I officially turn, today at 9.05. What was I doing at night? I probably was. I don't want to talk about it. Um, at nine something, I turned 22 because I was born at nine in the morning. I turned 22 years old and um, I'm gonna do what I can. Anyways, so I broke out my workout pants because working out, I used to work out a lot and it was really helpful dealing with stress and emotions just to help me get it out in a different way apart from like bawling my eyes my eyes out so i broke it out i'm not gonna work out today because i don't have the energy to um but just to get it out just so i know i can be um planning on working out um i have to go out and mail this two stuff mail this stuff out um <clears throat> i need to make sure it's out so that people that bought it don't feel like i'm not like you know doing what i'm supposed to do um yeah that's right i'm gonna move into california that was totally out of nowhere right i was supposed to be here in florida anyways the man that dragged me here to go be with his mommy and daddy left um so i guess i'm going to go be my brother in california um so i have a whole bunch of things to put together last time that I, this happened i was fighting it so bad my mom and everyone it was for two months. Everyone was like, go be with family, go to family, go to California because that's where my brother is. And I just kept on fighting that I chose to stay here. Right now it is, right now it's, it's, it's like, there's nothing that can be done anymore. It's just done. Um, so I don't want to stay here. I just, I'm going to get, get out of here as fast as possible. I'm not in my job anymore, which worked out so great. I'm going to get down to California and look for a job there. I guess I will. Um, 22. Ooh, ooh. Is that what it's called? The song? By, I don't know who sang that song, but it's basically saying about being 22 and how cool it is. Ah, now it's countdown to 30, right? Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. Countdown to 25, and then after 25, countdown to 30. Eh, I don't want to say that number. Oh, I'm sorry if you 30 years old. I'm not saying that like that. I'm just, it's just scary for me. I literally am just seeing this. I don't know if this was sent to me. Um, oh, I was sent this on September, so that's nine. So that's a few months ago. I don't know if this was sent to me by a hater. <laughs> And no, I'm not hiding your name. Um, by a hater, or maybe this is for real. But I honestly am at the point. But right now, of course, I 
shouldn't care less if it was real or was just someone who was just trying to hate. I think he's coming in soon to come get the rest of his stuff today. I know I'm blurry, I'm sorry. When he comes to go get the rest of his stuff, I don't know if I can take it. So hopefully he comes while I'm out. I'm gonna be out for like half an hour. I can get his stuff without me being there, I can't take it. I promise myself this, I'll never have another birthday like this ever again. My brother replied me, my sister is still on the phone. My brother is letting me know how much stuff I can bring to his place in California. Um, and I will still be leaving a lot of my stuff, which sucks, but, you know, I feel like I've lost like everything. Like, faith is basically part of my family. I gave her away, that was my fault, but I lost her. Travis is gone, like my whole family just... <laughs> Um, but, so, um, leaving things behind doesn't affect me as much. I'm normally very sentimental. I like to take everything with me. I'm going to be leaving basically 90% of my stuff here. And just take, like, my clothes, like, things that I need. Um, and just move over there and start up my new life. I put myself my favorite bottle of cup of wine. My phone just died, I'm gonna call up my sister because I'm so lame, I'm gonna have to ask her to tell me what she thinks I should do because if it was my birthday, I probably wouldn't even try to do anything. I mean, I have things I wanna go do, but I cannot bring myself mentally to go do it <clears throat> right now. So I might postpone that till tomorrow. Postpone them till, to, till tomorrow. So it's, it's a little bit late, it's kinda like, um, anyways, so I decided to stay home for the night. Um, I know some some of you guys might be like, no, oh, you should have gone out and do stuff for your birthday and just, you know, just do stuff for yourself. But I kind of felt like um, I wanted to stay home and I didn't want to force myself to do something I wasn't willing to do. So it's just, it, it would feel like I'm trying to be someone I'm not, you know. But if I wanted to stay home, if this was going to help, then I was going to. Just so you guys know, I don't plan on quitting vlogging is that you know, like I'm not gonna stop vlogging I kind of feel like vlogging actually is kind of helpful for me right now at this point I'm kind of feeling like I failed at something um, but having vlogging continue kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something that I you know I like to do so vlogging kind of helps boost my esteem that I so easily like you know brought down right now so I am gonna keep on vlogging except of course if I'm if I have to travel and I'm gonna be traveling for like you know a while or if I'm if something happens that stops me from uploading a video then I won't upload but if it's just me being me every day um, I'm still gonna upload I have I honestly have nothing to hide from you guys after everything that went down like I literally have nothing like to hide like it's just I, I have no reason to stop vlogging right now like everything is out there I feel open I feel like I have I feel like I feel relieved that you know everything is out like what's there to hide so there's no reason right now for me to stop vlogging I enjoy it it helps me feel like I'm doing something that I enjoy so don't worry guys it's not gonna end and if you feel like I should take a break no that's not everybody's different for me i think i need to carry on doing this it's gonna help me feel like a woman that's doing what she wants to do it's gonna help, help me build me up i have to work tomorrow it's my last day of working and tomorrow i have to put things together and kind of figure out more like where i'm going to be um i know definitely i'm not gonna be here long um but you know just figure all of that out how much longer i have to be here before i can leave you know this ap an apartment complex like how long of a notice do i need to give to them I stayed home, I had a great day, good enough day, and now I'm gonna start binging on YouTube. I normally watch YouTubers that are kind of like me, or went through kind of something similar, like, you know, married and kind of something like this happened, and they share this on YouTube. Um, I think Shameless Maya is like that, I'm not so sure, but I'll check her out, and probably some other viewers. Oh, I think product product junkie xox went through something similar i'm not sure i have not like focused on your vlog to understand what's going on in your lives but yeah i just watch people seem like, like seeing someone like that went through the same thing and seeing them doing job doing what they do in life kind of makes me feel like i can do what i want to do in life <laughs> and i feel like i'm about to go on a journey 
and I'm glad that you guys are here to go on that journey with me. So thank you. Bye guys. <laughs>